crack. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a bit of a weird episode today. I'm back doing some more cooking, but I'm cooking something kind of strange. You probably might have guessed that from the title of the video, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a weird one. But it could be a delicious one. I'm not 100% sure. Got all the stuff I'm going to need, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to stick these spuds on. No spuds actually in there. The water was boiling a little bit already, but I actually haven't put the spuds in because I need to peel them first, and I'm going to do that now. So before I jump into it, I guess I should explain what I'm actually cooking. The short way to say it is that it's mashed potato ice cream, but it's actually not. What it is is an idea that me and a friend of mine came up with years ago when I was living down in Tipperary. I think we were drunk one night or something and uh, we started talking about these kind of crazy foods and we thought wouldn't it be cool to make like a savoury ice cream cone but it's actually like a dinner but it looks like an ice cream cone. So we come up with the idea where we'd have mashed potato for the ice cream, you'd have a sausage for a flake and you'd have like bacon sprinkles and stuff and it would all be in like a waffle cone. The other night I was thinking of this idea and I was like why not make it for the video? So that's exactly what I'm doing today. And I'm gonna give you a rundown of all the ingredients that you're gonna need. So the ingredients you're gonna to need today for cooking this rare delicacy dish is... Potatoes. Sausages for flakes. Bacon lardons for like sprinkles. Waffle cones, you know what I'm saying? These are gonna be good. The next two ingredients are optional, but I just use them because it's gonna look cool for the video. So I got some maple syrup as like your syrup. <laughs> I'm gonna make some different colored mash. So I'm gonna have like pink and mint. And there are all the ingredients. So let's start cooking. I'm gonna peel the spuds. So uh, someone knocked at the door <laughs> and something that I've ordered from another video actually arrived so it arrived sooner than expected so that's probably going to be out in a couple of weeks time but we'll see. I'm not going to show you what it is but uh, it should be an interesting video and yeah looking forward to uh, looking forward to doing the video. Ooh the water's boiling nicely. I'm gonna get these spuds on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want that to go in. So the spuds are bubbling away, they're going to take a while. When they're ready, I'm going to mash them and then try and make the mashed potato ice cream out of them and make the cones. So uh, yeah, it should be interesting. I'm actually excited to do this because I've been thinking about doing it for years and I guess making a video out of it is like really the reason it was meant to be made because there's no point in me making it alone and just being like, oh cool, and then eating it. So I guess just making a video about it I thought would be a lot more interesting. And yeah, you can see if I succeed or fail at it. And uh, hopefully it tastes nice as well, so that'll be cool. But I have a big day coming up tomorrow. I'm gonna to be in North Clare shooting a video. I can't really talk about it yet. So I think the video, I think the behind the scenes of that is gonna be out next week, hopefully. And the big video that I'm gonna be shooting is gonna be out sometime during the week. All going well, we'll see how the editing and stuff goes. And of course, ideas change along the way, so yeah. These spuds are taking so long. I know this sounds crazy, but I mean, this this could be the recipe of the century. I mean, Gordon Ramsay could come knocking on my door tomorrow. You know, you just never know with these things. But I reckon it's gonna be tasty. I really do. I do actually think it's gonna be tasty. Just think of a mashed potato in a cone with bacon bits in it, a sausage as a flake, and then like maple syrup. But how is that not gonna be tasty? I'm actually getting hungry just thinking of it. Hurry on, spuds. And I know you're probably thinking, have I, have I gone mad? Like, what am I actually cooking? And the short story is, I'm making an ice cream cone that you can eat for your dinner. Yeah, and something I forgot to say earlier, the name that me and my friend came up with years ago when we were thinking of this dish, I'm just thinking of it now, like, it's such a cheesy name. But the, the name we called it is... <laughs> Master Bacon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of it, like, you know, that's definitely, like six or seven years ago where I was a lot younger, a lot less, uh, you know, a lot less mature than I am now. And <laughs> yeah, right. If anyone is asking you, oh, what are you cooking there? Say, just doing a bit of master bacon here in the corner. Yeah, and they'll, they'll be like, oh yeah, yeah. And I was looking up online if you could get square sausages somewhere, and uh, no, you can't get square sausages, unfortunately. Yeah, they're getting there, they're getting there. I'm gonna open up the waffle cones because I'm worried about their integrity. I'm worried that they won't be strong enough when it comes to it. When it comes to like putting mash and stuff into them. They're actually bigger than I thought. Get out. Ooh. Get out of the way, bacon. Ooh, they look nice actually. 
Hmm. They feel kind of light, but they're they're a good size. You know, you get like a good good size cone out of this. You know, and for quality assurance purposes, I must do this. I must taste the the wafers. I was worried that this would be like really really sugary and make the whole thing feel off, but it's not too sweet. So I actually think this is gonna work. I really think this is gonna work. Hmm. I'm taking a little break from the mashed potato ice cream. I'm watching some Dr. Phil. It's oh. It's like the my it's my favorite time of the day when I get when I get my some alone time with Mr. Dr. Phil. And his name is Mr. Dr. Phil. Mr. still goes before Doctor. That's a fact, you can Google it. It's Phil. It's Dr. Phil. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> Obviously I'm joking, I hate daytime television. There's never anything on. Like ever. Ooh, Antiques Roadshow. That's my jam. I'm just thinking now I'm gonna need something to hold the cones when I'm like putting the mash in because like the cones are like this and I obviously can't record and put it in at the same time so I need something to put this into to hold it. I need to find something. I need a glass. I need a swan. No. Maybe this. No. What about this bottle? Looks good. Oh, perfect. Hopefully. <laughs> but it should hold it some bit so that I can get the spuds in. Okay, we're getting there. The spuds are coming along too. We're actually nearly there. The spuds are nice and soft. I'd say maybe another five minutes so I'll be mashing them up. I'm actually really excited. I'm excited to do this and I'm excited to taste it. And uh, yeah, it should be good. The spuds are done, ready to mash them. For this you're gonna need some salt, pepper, a little bit of butter, and some cow juice. Salt, pepper, butter, and milk are in. I have no potato masher, so I'm gonna have to use this bottle. Oh yeah. Okay, so the bottle wasn't working out too well, so I'm just gonna use this spoon. It needs to be a bit creamier, it needs more milk. It needs to be a bit more ice creamy. It's actually pretty nice. Needs more salt though. Definitely needs more salt. I have the lardons on. Uh, gotta get the sausage on too. So this is gonna be our flake. <laughs> I'll try and make it a little bit square. I'm gonna separate out the potatoes now because I want to make three different colors. This mash is honestly so good. Mm. Here comes a bit now that I'm actually a little bit worried about because I've never, never tried this before. Here's the green. I'm only gonna put a couple of drops. That little amount. And here's the red. Oh god, I might have put too much. I'm gonna mix them. I'm back, gonna mix this one up. Hopefully it comes out kinda pinky. Ah yeah. I actually think it does look a little bit like ice cream. <laughs> this is gonna be cool. So the bacon is done. I'm gonna add this to my potatoes. Get in there. Just gonna mix this up. I mean, it wouldn't be ice cream if I didn't have an ice cream scooper. So look at the state of this place. <laughs> Great to go. The sausage is still cooking. And the sausage is gonna be the flake, so uh, it'll be done in a minute. I'm gonna take a scoop of my mash. Ah, oh, just look at it in all its glory. But the final ingredient is yet to be applied. So here we go. Beautiful. Here we go. Here's the final piece de resistance: the maple syrup. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just about to taste it. First thing I'll say, it's a little bit messy, but uh, here goes. Sausage is just a sausage which with some maple syrup on it. This is, this is the bit. Mmm. It's good. Like, I'm not just saying this because I cooked it myself. But I honestly really, really like it. 
I haven't tasted the cone yet though, but the mash and the bacon and the maple syrup and the sausage, really, really nice, as I was expecting, but it's actually so good. And I know this isn't healthy at all, but you know, it's experimental and it's really tasty. The bacon bits that make them, they're nice and crispy and kind of big. I'm glad I didn't put too much maple syrup on it because I think it might have ruined it. But I'm gonna try some of the cone with the mash and the bacon for the first time. Mm. It's nice, it gives it kind of a waffle, breakfast waffle taste, but not like overpowering like some waffles can be, like really sugary. It gives it a nice little little texture change as well. I'm not being biased. This is really tasty. If you want to try it, you should. The weirdest breakfast I think I've ever had in my life. And there we have it, three colored ice cream, bacon and mashed potato, strawberry mashed potato, mint mashed potato there, the green one. And I even have a sausage that I put in there. That looks odd actually. <laughs> now, that'll be fine. And no ice cream would be complete without the maple syrup, of course. Ooh, look at that. So yeah, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this. You know it's an odd episode, it's me like cooking like the most random mashed potato ice cream thing you've ever seen in your life. But it's called mashed or bacon. If you want to find the ingredients, I'll put them in the description. You can try it out for yourself to see if you actually like it because I thought it actually, it's actually pretty nice. The bacon bits in the mashed potato with the maple syrup and the cone is really, really good. I haven't tried these, I'm sure it tastes Tastes the exact same. You know, you can put in other things, you can put in bits of onions, garlic, whatever you want. And it's sweet and savoury and it's really, really good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. And if you're new to my channel, have a look at some of my other videos. Consider subscribing, it would really help me out. And uh, yeah, just thanks a lot for being here. And I'll see you all again next Friday with another video. Bye.